Hi, I'm Dr. Moore of Moore Foot and Ankle Specialists. Today we're going to perform an Austin bunionectomy with a different kind of fixation. As you can see, this patient had a procedure performed with a great outcome, although they had a metallic screw placed in to fixate the osteotomy. Over here, I've drawn on the uh, other bunion deformity for the patient. And as you can see, it's a very mild bunion deformity. We're going to take the head, make the bone cut here, and actually slide the head over. The fixation will be from here to here like the screw, but we'll be using a bone allograft by Solana. Here we have the allograft from Tinfuse, and it's in the bottom of the solution in saline, so it's already reconstituted. It does not come dry, so you have to wait to apply fluid to it to allow it to absorb. So literally you pop this top off here, peel off the top, which we'll show you later, and the graft is ready to use. Okay, now we have the chevron cut made on the side here after the medial eminence or bunion bone was, was uh, removed. And the V osteotomy was made with a saw and the dorsal and plantar arm is as follows. You can see when I pull it open, how it gaps open. And what we're gonna do now is shift the head over. And this is how we correct the bunion deformity where we actually shift and move the head over about that much. Now with this fresh bone cut, we have to fixate the top and we used to use screws, staples, or other types of absorbable pins like um, uh, Vicryl or, or other pins here that will dissolve over later, but the new ones that are out now that are bone pins are a little bit easier to use, not only better for the patient because they'll absorb right into the bone. And the next thing we're going to do is fixate this. This is the tin fuse allograft, and it's really easy to use. You can just pop off the top, and then the outside metallic area peels off, and there's a rubber cork that also comes off, and it's inside here in the solution. I like to pour it straight out onto something so I can see it, and then if you want to pick it up with hemostats or your own fingers, that's fine. And again, this is the tapered end, which goes into the portal, and then I tap in this end here. Uh, the only thing we're changing is the fin that's in the middle here, which makes it difficult to get past, but I like that also because once it's through, it holds it firm. So this is a, a part that will hang up. We'll see that in a second. Okay, now we're going to drill the portals, and I like to start perpendicular because the uh, drill bit wanders. So we'll do the first one here. And then I'll redirect and drop my hand so I catch both the top cortex here and the bottom cortex of the metatarsal shaft. Ream it a couple of times like I did this. So that's really important. So this slips right in. You'll see that it slips in, slips out, so the actual uh, allograft does not get hung up. Now, since these pins don't have threads like a screw, what I'll do is, I'll, instead of making it parallel like this to the other pin, I'll angle it in a little bit. And when I angle it, that means I'll take care of that distraction distally. So it actually won't pull out this way. So the pins are going to come in at an angle like this, instead of parallel. Alright, now we're going to put the allograft in, or the... Uh, Solano nail and it pretty much slips right down and we can get it in the first few millimeters until it gets to that little thin area where it'll hang up and then I use the tamp to take it down the rest of it rest of the way I suggest that it's tamped downward so we don't snap the head off. And you can see it's flush now. It goes in real nice. And that fin hangs up about right about here to keep it from sliding back and forth. Now with the other pin, remember, it's, it's not angled like this. It's a little bit angled inwards. I too will slip it down to that area where the fin is until it stops. 
and then tamp it in the rest of the way. And there you go, nice and flush. X-ray, and you can just barely see the V osteotomy, but what's really cool is the shadow of the pin right there is just barely poking out the edge. The length is perfect on these devices, but again, it's flush up here through the osteotomy, and again, there's no hardware the patient won't have to have any hardware removed. All right, now what we have is the finished product. I've done all the burring. The uh, osteotomy you can see is still down here. And of course the nails, which you can barely see, are here and here. And again, those will be absorbed into the bone in probably about uh, six to eight weeks. And there you have it, an awesome bunionectomy with a Solana Allograft nail.